Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I mean, he has actually become the legend he had always aspired yeah. to be. Mm-hmm. And I hate to see him gone, not just for me, but the man had children, the man had a wife. They, you know, they deserved more time mm-hmm. with him in my eyes. I had, look, it, I had had one of the greatest lives in the world that I was able to share with him. I regret nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we actually got to say everything we needed to say with him, with each other before he passed away. A lot of people didn't get that closure. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I can sit here and say I have no regrets about everything. I did everything I was supposed to do for him as a friend and as a brother on every level at every time. I was always who I was supposed to be for him. He was always who I was supposed to be, who I needed him to be for me. You know what I'm saying? But the group, there were certain times where I was living a life where the group was, could not function if that continued. Yeah. The same thing with him. He yeah. started living a life where the group could not function if it continued. And we would always get back to that note because neither one of us thought we were better than UGK. Wow, one day. We knew it was always about the group. We, I can go out and do some songs and get some little fame. He obviously had a very big personality, had a lot of fans and all of that. But at no point did we ever really think, you know, there's other money. Yeah, it might be some good money to go get, but no, no. Was, the bag UGK was always for big. life. The bag was always bigger than that. And before he passed away, we made and we had some disagreements, like I said. And so because of that, we couldn't walk together because yeah. of the way he wanted to walk. The way I wanted to walk, we couldn't walk together. I didn't knock him, but you got to do that. If that's how you want to move, I can't be a part of that. Mm -hmm. So you got to go do that by yourself. But before he passed, we got back on the same page. Because when he came home, like, life was real different for Pimp. Pimp was really, really loved and wanted. And everybody wanted time with him. So he was getting pulled by so many people Mm -hmm. with so much money and all these different things that didn't include me. And I'm like, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, go do it. But it's not what you think it is mm-hmm. because I did it and it's not easy and it took me years. But he has to go through it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it took me two years after he went into county and eventually mm-hmm. into the state. Then it took me two years to figure out how to do a solid show without him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was performing and doing a show, but like, damn, we can't do that song without Chad. Damn, why we didn't do this? It took a while to get that to that mm-hmm. point. You know what I'm saying? I felt and he went out and tried to do so by himself. It was tough. After he came home, you got to figure out the order. You got to figure out the interaction. Because y'all was did so everything different. together. And shit was so different. He had never really been out there right. consistently by himself. So he'd have to do every verse. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Ain't no breaks. It's different when it's just you. I commend solo artists. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.